Now, before we talk about our next story, I want you to take a look at some of these headlines. Now, killer whales or orcas severely damaged a sailing boat off the coast of southern Spain. They rammed into the boat and also broke its rudder. And then they pierced its hull. The Spanish authorities raced to try and save the sinking vessel, but it was in such disrepair that it had to be towed to the shore. Now look at this one. A British couple were enjoying a sailing cruise off the coast of Morocco. A pod of orcas then suddenly surrounded their boat and started bumping into it. And the attack continued for over an hour. It was coupled with high winds and big swells and the couple was terrified. But thankfully the crew navigated the boat to safety. And now here's another one. A Swiss sailing yacht was attacked by three killer whales just off the coast of Gibraltar. It had four crew members on board. The impact was so hard that they had to abandon it. The yacht could not sustain the damage and soon sank afterwards. You see, nature knows how to heal itself and it is clear from how these orcas have been behaving that they are doing this deliberately and they are sinking ships. Researchers too now believe that they are doing this intentionally. Their ambushes seem coordinated and they appear to be purpose-driven. Now, despite being called killer whales, normally these whales are, con are not considered dangerous for humans. Now, recently, they've done some serious damage to a series of boats. So why is this happening? So let me tell you what the leading theory behind this behavior of the orcas is. Now, researchers believe that orcas are taking revenge. Their actions appear to be clearly motivated and speculation is that a female killer whale had suffered a pretty traumatic incident with a boat. Now, the scientists are calling her White Gladys. The claim that this trauma caused her to start attacking vessels and she taught this aggressive behavior to other orcas who further passed it on to their children. Now, orcas, remember, are extremely intelligent. It is true that they are capable of teaching one another certain behavioral patterns and this also includes violent actions. In the past few years, hundreds of attacks have been recorded in the Iberian Peninsula. In a majority of them, the orcas struck the underbody of the boat. The interactions have been brief and caused minimal damage to the vessels. But on at least about three separate occasions, including the ones that we told you about, the orcas have sunk the boats. But what exactly are these killer whales seeking revenge? Do we even need to say it out loud? Well, it's most likely for human behavior and human disturbances in these water bodies. Boats, remember, disrupt aquatic life, and not just that, they also prey on aquatic creatures. Many times, this leaves other predators scrambling. The orcas of the Iberian coast have to compete with the fishing vessels for food, and they follow ships to snag their prey. The bluefin tuna before fishermen can, in fact, reel them in, and this puts the aquatic mammals at risk. They could get stuck or entangled, and scientists have seen killer whales in these waters with fishing lines hanging from their bodies, and it is not a pretty sight to see. Now, the IUCN, or the International Union for Conservation of Nature, classifies the Iberian orcas subpopulation as critically endangered. And if humans are going to threaten them like this, then of course, they're going to fight back sooner rather than later. This is their survival instinct. But the harsh truth is, humans are a bigger threat to orcas than orcas are to us. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.